welcome everybody and in this video I will be going over stuff for the world and this is probably going to be about three to four parts because we're going to be going over a tile system for our world a tile renderer and a world now I have two things to say and one is that the code is on github so in case you've ever made a mistake you can go ahead and compare your code with the one on github and if you can't seem to find the problem you can go ahead and ask me and another thing is I have organized the code into packages for more organization instead of all being in a default package they're all in separate packages related to what their function is okay so to start off I'm going to create a new package and this package is going to be called world and we're going to start off with tiles in this tutorial so I'm going to create a new tile class so tiles is practically going to have an array list of tiles with an ID so this way we can keep track of a tile and the properties so a tile right now is going to have a private byte of an ID and a private string for the texture now we'll go over why we're going to be using strings for textures in a little bit because it's a little complicated this is the reason why we need a tile renderer and now we can create our constructor for our tile and this is just going to have a byte ID and a string of texture so we can go ahead and do this to ID and set everything and we need to test something but before we can test something remember that array that I told you about yes we're going to create it so it's going to be a public static tile and I'll call it tiles and it'll be a new tile array and we'll go with 32 tiles for now since we're not well I guess I'll bump it down to 16 since we're not really making very many tiles right now so it's gonna be 16 this is the maximum number of tiles our game can currently have and this is just temporary uh, the value will change based on how many tiles we want and let's go ahead and create our first tile so public static final tile and I'll call this the test tile and it's going to equal to a new tile with the ID of 0 and the texture is our test texture so I'll go ahead and write test now there won't be dot PNG at the end of it because we'll have that handled in our tile renderer and it wants zero casted to a byte hmm. anyways now we can go ahead and test if the tile was already initialized under this ID so if tiles at ID is 
equal to null, or sorry, not equal to null, not equal to null, and we'll just throw a new illegal state exception, and we'll say tiles at plus ID is already being used. I think I'll change that just a little bit. There we go. And if the exception hasn't been thrown, we can go ahead and set tiles at our ID to our tile, which is this. So now it is not null. And don't forget to have some of the getters for the ID and texture. And that is it for the tiles. And if you wish, you can do whatever you want with the tile. You can add more values for it. You can pretty much do whatever. And in the next video, we'll be going over a tile renderer for our tile. And this will render our tile for our world. So I'll see you in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed.